Uh, this is an introduction to the Chrono Master Tank video uh, for Gorsival. I'm going to be running Chrono Master Tank today for this team. All right. The focus here is going to be getting your rotations right, proper timing, proper pulls, and basically permanent quickness to all 10 people of the team, and that or close to it. All right. Do you want to focus on quickness for Team 1? Also, we have Connie Warriors with the Guild Connie Warrior setup. So they will do at least 11k damage from that auto attacks alone uh, with quickness. So we want to put quickness on them too. All right, that is also a prime target for the quickness in our rotations. And rotations are posted on the um, on my YouTube channel. All right, exactly how to do it, which teams swap which. I'm going to go over armor. Armor, I'm running Wanderers. Okay, I want high HP. I run, I'm running around 25,000 HP. All right, I can go with Knights and uh, Commanders, but right now for this uh, run, I'm going to be on Commanders. All weapons are Commanders, except for this. This is a Sentinel uh, focus for the pulls. All right, trinkets don't really matter. I just put um, Zerg Trink and then uh, the Soldier Trink mix into the fray. All right, traits are as follows: Dueling, Illusions, and Chrono Master. Dueling is one three three, Illusions is two two two, and Chrono Master is three three three. I am getting alacrity and then all that stuff too. Uh, making sure that you have three phantasms and or illusions or clones when you do pop your Chrono. Uh, your continuous split and Chrono Phantasm is going to help you up can maintain that permanent alacrity under the boss because you're going to have two to three shield phantasms up at all times. All right. Uh, reason why you have HP here is because sometimes you will have to take hits from Gorsival in order to keep your uh, alacrity up under the boss permanently for the team, uh, increasing their damage. So and take the smash, take the slash. You have enough toughness, armor, and enough HP to take quite a bit of uh, hits. And then we do have a good semi or good or decent good healer here in the team. Again, uh, the set here is not optimized. Uh, the real optimization would be either a trinket, okay, uh, commander, or whatever trinket, and then after that, this stuff. So I don't have to use utility food uh, for 100%. But here, I'm going to be 100% it out. Uh, either way, I do lose a little bit of DPS due to uh, not being able to put a a different utility in a slot. And that that is the intro, and uh, good will follow suit. All right, this is run one. Everyone's footing up. I'm going to do a ready check. And we all jump at once. First part of rotation is again, put sh two shield phantoms out. I'm going to push back here, get some altitude. All right, waiting for the team, and then push forward on my glider. OK, when I land right on top of Gorse, and then the team's going to fall suit. Shield four right away, block, put another shield phantasm out, and then finish it off, and then start my rotation. Again, rotations are covered in the uh, uh, YouTube videos on my channel. Alright, rotation one is out. That's alacrity and quickness to team one. Team two is gonna get quickness also. Boom. Alright, he is broken. And I'm gonna camp team two here because I want to give them alacrity. Now I'm pulling Gorsival to the wall. Alright, straight to the wall. Do not back up. Do not do anything. Alright, once I at the wall, putting a shield four out, getting that third shield phantasm out, and then doubling it up. Boom. Alright, here we go. Now I'm gonna put team uh, part three of my rotation on team one. And then go back to team two. All right, here we go. Inspiration signet. They should have really good alacrity. I'm pulling all the mobs to Gorsival now, and we're just gonna cleave him. Okay. The max DPS guys, push off your damage. Do not jump until uh, I tell you, and jump now. All right, land on top of Gors guys, or beside him. I'm gonna land right on top. Oh shit. And I'm dead. Ah fuck. Bad. Why? Why? <laughs> well, this bodes well. <laughs> Damn it, man! Ah! Edit, 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 edit. The power of edit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, everyone's getting some sort of quickness on that. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting a lot more. <laughs> Bloopers, I'm, I'm bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> should be a bit more than that when uh, we actually land and stuff. Before we glide, the bar should be at the tip of the E on uh, many become one. So try to push out your meteors and like last minute flaunts and all that. Okay, here's a ready check. All right, part two of the Gorsable Chrono Tank <laughs> video. All right. all right, here we go. Jumping with a tank. Again, I'm going to push back on the glider here, get some altitude. And then slowly glide ahead of the team. We're all landing kind of a, at the same time here. Put a shield forward immediately as I land. So he's going to block it and activate my deja vu. 
There you go. Another shield phantasm. Start rotations now. All right, part two is going to be on Connie's side of the team. All right, and I'm going to camp Connie from here on out. All right, until I get to the wall, which part three is going to hit, and then the melee team is going to get a gigantic burst of quickness again. All right, making sure I go to the wall, stay on the stay on the wall, wait till he gets here, and block. Deja Vu is activated again. Put another one out, blocking his smash effectively. Then part three of my rotation is going to go right on top of the melee team here. Here we go. Boom. Now I'm going to pull all the mobs towards uh, Gorsival. They're pulled, and then we just cleave the living shit out of them. Max DPS, guys. Make sure you're positioning and all those meteors and stuff land. Now get ready to jump. Not yet, not yet. And jump now. Go, go, go. Alright, switching to shield in midair. Okay, I want to land and put a shield forward right uh, as soon as I land. Blocking that uh, pushback. Okay. Put another uh, shield up and then getting ready. I'm switching to team 1 now. When he teleports to the middle, starting my rotations over there. And starting my rotations now. So here we go. Time warp. That was quick permit quickness on the team. All right, we did phase him. Good phase. All right, now going to team two. Or actually, no, I'm gonna stay with the main team here. All right, go to northwest where I'm supposed to be at. We got a little disoriented there. All right, here we go. And then giving quickness to the team. We are missing an Ellie up here. Ellie, stay near us because there's like a lack of quickness everywhere. All right. Here I'm going to do my rotations one more time before holding off on the rotations themselves uh, so that I can put a max uh, rotation on Gorsival. Looking at the HP of the charged souls, I do not have time to wait on the rotations. I'm saving it now. Alright, put rotation 1 again on Gorse. Make sure I have my phantasms under him. I'm not summoning extra phantasms now. Alright. And as soon as he's... Boom. Here we go. Well, I'm just going to do another part of the rotation here. I, uh, timing is pretty bad. Just got a quickness. Ooh, only seven. Take the break. Good job on the brakes, guys. Alright, rotation one is going to be happening on the wall over here. Okay, I'm going to block his smash first. Or evade it. Alright, next it is a smash. I'm going to evade it. And put up a full rotation on Gorse. And do my rotation. Here we go. Team 1's got it. Team 2. Holding. And get ready. Jump now. Jump now. Alright. Land on top of Gorse, guys. Get that really nice grace of land boost from the thing. Make sure you're clearing orbs, please. There's orbs ahead. Yep. Over there. Right there, orbs. Alright, Gorse is about to tell you mid. I'm going to put another rotation on team 1 here, at the middle. Boom. Here we go, we're phasing him. We're phasing him, we're phasing him. Good DPS for the team here. Uh, we do need those orbs cleared, so Ellie, North. North Ellie, clear these orbs please. There's one orb right there, that's a big problem. And that one for the South Ellie. North Ellie, where you at? Should be Ember. Ember, come north. Ember, there you go. We're putting out a rotation for the team. Get that Ellie that really nice quickness burst so that he can kill that orb really fast. Uh, Jills, thank you. Good job. Keep the DPS up, guys. I have a full rotation ready for you under course. Alright, kill that orb over there. Make sure you guys are killing all the uh, orbs before we glide so that we don't have any problems on the way back down. Wonderful. Good job on the orb clears. Alright. Getting ready to put my full rotation under Gorsable. Here I go. When that charge shell is really low. And putting it... I might as well go put it now. So here we go. Make sure he does not interrupt my uh, signal inspiration. Alright. Here we go. Part 2 rotation. Max DPS. AoE is under Gors, please. AoE is under Gors. There we go. Wonderful. Max DPS on Gors before we... Yep. Break, 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 break. Alright, back up guys, back up. Alright, wonderful. Moving into the wall now. Now, here's the wall part. Okay, get ready for a uh, egg phase. Get under Gorse, please. Get under Gorse. Right under Gorse. Yep, get egged and break them out. Wonderful. Good break. Alright, pulling the spirits on top of Gorse here. Boom, they're pulled. 
Max DPS, A all AOEs on Gorsable, please. And jump now, jump now. Go, go, go. I'm low. Alright, Warrior, do not take that fall damage. Or not. Guys, you're gonna get killed. Alright, evade. Alright, max heals, please. Get ready. Alright, AOEs. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Going in the middle, maxing rotations out. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, here we go. This is the burn. Fucking Skype calls, man. Alright, max rotations on team 2 here. Giving them the quickness that they need, and we should be killing him way before that world leader spawn. Congratulations. Guys, alright, there you go. Alright, and that is Chrono Tank video. Quickness and alacrity to the team, and really good DPS. Fucking Skype! God damn it! This fucking Skype call, you're gonna hear it on the video. Uh, Alright, so that's Chrono Tanking. Uh, hopefully you guys got all the quickness and stuff and alacrity. I focus, try to, try to focus on Connie Wars and NG and a lot of quickness on Team 1. That is uh, how to Chrono Tank Gorsival. Uh, sorry for the Skype fucking video thing. I'm going to turn it off right now. Alright, there we go. Holy fucking crap. God damn it. Good Skype call. Easy now. Second run. First run, we could have done it if it didn't freaking fall off. I'm so fucking sorry, okay? Did it derp? That's why I- uh, I was a l half a second late on my, like, shield block. Anyway. Edit, 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 edit. Yep. Yeah, I'm editing. Whatever. The power of edit compels you. Uh, anyway, this is not a fully optimized setup. Again, I could do better with the Mordrum loop and a little bit of commander, so that way I can use a different utility. But this is pretty much precision, and this is not d DPS stuff. I am doing a little bit of damage, but again, uh, my damage is topped way more with the warriors and all this stuff. Yep. Oh, I passed 30k burn tech, by the way. Thanks again. Good. Congratulations. What you hit? Yeah. 30k I mean, burn. I, How much? Yeah. 31, 32k? I, I think it was 30... No, like 30... 3500, maybe. 30, 30, 35k burn? So you did like 40,000 damage then? No, 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 no. Ah. That. Okay, that's that's not bad. They, that's that's near like 35, 36k. <laughs> not yet, not yet. 